What I'm going to do is I'm going to put these videos together. I'd like to welcome you all to the very first episode of the Mental Paedophile Hunters. Um, we are paedophile hunting, I suppose, today. Uh, we had a member of staff that come out of nowhere from Solihull. Um, he, he worked for us. We, we did a criminal record background check on him like we do on every member of staff. And his is the only one. Um, well, we had to chase it. It just didn't come back. Uh, he, he gave us the wrong details time and time again. When it did come back, we found out that he had various sex offences against a minor, including intimidating the witness and, and so on and so forth. So we got rid of him immediately. Um, and by law, we had to pay him up to date. Uh, but then, of course, we still got rid of him because of the obvious. And I don't want anything like that associated with the brand. As far as I'm concerned, you're a fucking scumbag if, uh, if you are that inclined. Why am I bringing him up today? Well, with the, with the recent events that have been going on within the mental brand, this individual decided to pop up on social media on other people's posts and share his opinion and try and threaten not only me, but also the brand. In fact, one of the things he said was, it's a good job that the wolf is hiding in Spain because I would love nothing more than to toss him around the room. That was one thing he said. See, I never really get this because when you're a keyboard warrior, there's always that chance that you can bump into the person that you're having a pop at on social media. Well, oh. yeah, we found out that he's working at Costa Coffee today, now, round the corner, and I fancy a latte. So I think it's only right I give him that chance to toss the dwarf around the, the coffee shop. And I'll, I'll put the camera, you know, oh, I'll put my hands behind my back. I can't be any fairer than that. Can I? Really? Um, well, let's go see him. Let's go see what he's got to say. First episode of the Mental Peter Hunters. Exciting, isn't it? I wonder how Costa Coffee are gonna, are gonna feel about who they've got working for them. I wonder how their customers are gonna feel about who they've got working for them. Aaron, I thought you were in Spain. I thought you couldn't come back because of your residency. Yes, I know. Um, I have been given um, three days or four days to come back. I've had an emergency with my daughter, so um, I need to sort that out and bring her back to Spain and I've been given permission so I don't have a lot of time so I'm trying to do work and deal with some issues or as many as I can within that short amount of time that I have and I just thought you know I could um, get a coffee in the process kill two burns with one stone so, if you will Let's see what he's got to say Hello, Sonny. It's a good job he's hiding in Spain because there's nothing more that I would like than to toss the dwarf around the room. Well, it's your lucky day. But I'm going to put the camera there. I'm going to put my hands in my pocket for you. Right? So you're going to get a chance. Now you can be internet famous immediately if you get this one right. You know that awkward moment when you catch a keyboard warrior? Yeah, you know what I'm on about, yeah? Yeah, yeah. He's one. Do you know why he got sacked from my coffee shop? Really? Because he inappropriately touched a minor. And his criminal record check came back that he sexually assaulted somebody at the age of six and then intimidated the witness, which is in the public domain. But I don't think that you told your boss that, did you? No? I can have the Would you like to... You're not gonna. You're not gonna take your chance. Oh, let's have a latte. Nice. Do that. Okay. What do you reckon about this? <laughs> Got nothing to say. You're gonna be drinking in Costa again. Mental monkeys round the corner. We do a blinding latte. Blinding latte. Any time you wanna come there. Tell you what. I'll give you a coffee for free. I'll give you. I'll stamp your card. Yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah, that's right. Nothing. He's in my he's in my personal space right now. He's in my face. I'm the manager. I'm the manager. You're not the manager. Right? And You're not the manager. I found that out too. Okay. And he's he's interrupting me now. He's refusing to leave. He's in my space. No, you haven't asked he, me to leave. He's causing a scene. You haven't asked me to leave. 
He hasn't asked me to leave yet, has he? He hasn't asked me to leave. It's quite he hasn't asked me to leave. Huh? It's quite clear that you're not. Well, I don't know. Am I welcome here? Come in. Come, no, Can no, I sit not. down with you and have a coffee? My name's Aaron, by the way. Nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you, Matthew. I'm welcome here. No, I don't no. think you're welcome here. No, no. I think if we go to all of the tables here, no. I've got a with feeling you ain't going to be... I don't, yeah, I don't not, think not you're going to be welcome here. The so you're not going to hit me? You're not going to hit me? Why are you coming You're not going to hit me? You're not going to hit me? Okay. Just so we can clarify. Sex offender. Awkward. Awkward. Okay. Internet's a fucker, isn't it? Didn't want to hit me. Oh. Um, well, I suppose this can be a lesson to the keyboard warriors out there. Not all of you are going to get confronted. Not all of you are going to get what you deserve. However, you've got to have it in the back of your head that at one point in your life, you might bump into the person that you're slagging off uh, or making false accusations about. And they might just hit you back with with the truth or put you in a situation that you really don't want to be in and embarrass you.